Still a relatively young franchise. I want to know the feeling in that locker room being 2-0 and for the first time. It's good, but they understand how sloppy that was, and there's a lot to, lot to build on. So, you know, the energy is still high, but, you know, the, the hunger is, is what I'm best, so most impressed with, I guess. And Jacksonville is obviously in a familiar spot for, to you guys a couple of years ago. But you go out last week, you get a win. I think you guys were almost 13 and a half point underdogs. Do you feel like it's kind of a good feeling for this team to kind of fly under the radar, maybe all season long? Yeah, I don't think we're flying under any radar, but uh, I would love it if we could. But, uh, you know, just to, to beat a good Jacksonville team like that, that, that's kind of just coming into the league, that's won a championship in another league, they're, they're going to be just fine. And, um, you know, I expect them to compete in the East and get into the playoffs anyway. But, like I said, they're just trying to figure it out right now. Coach, you talked to Bryce earlier in the week. He was excited to play. Uh, he's a Vegas native in front of uh, family and friends. He put on a pretty good show today, it looked like. Yeah, you know, Bryce is a heck of a football player. You know, it's anytime you can get a kid and they come in and, and he's still learning. You know, he'll tell you he made some mistakes, but but he also had two interceptions, one on tip ball and one he made a good play on. And um, But he'll tell you probably the, the stuff that we can correct if you really wanted to, to talk freely about it. But um, heck of a football player, a great kid, or young man, I should say. You said that there's things you guys are going to clean up and, you know, second game of the season, I guess that's to be expected. But what would you think about for your group? What was a, a bend but don't break second half to secure a win? It was good. You know, we come out and we get a stop early and then we come down and then, you know, we should have put the game away and then we fumbled the ball away. So a lot of stuff that we can we can correct to clean up on. Um, and, and that's the most encouraging part for us. Pretty good special teams day as well. The onside recovery, the kicking game was pretty perfect and that ended up being important. Yeah, Kevin's been stellar so far. Hope he can keep it up. <laughs> it's not a – we haven't had that in the past, and, and it, it shows how valuable it is. We saw Jerome Johnson go out in the second half. Have any idea of where that might be? Uh, just strained his hamstring. He'll be fine. And last season we talked about the way that the team performs after one of the team members are, are honored kind of with a Player of the Week award. And you even said if this is the way that we play, they can keep those awards. We kind of just talked about QB1 right now. Kind of how important is it to have not just one showing like that, but kind of have back-to-back -back showing like that? Yeah, I think everybody, uh, you know, you get an award based on, you know, it's a, it's an individual award, but it's a team award because he couldn't do it by yourself. And Jerome would tell you that. And for him to come back, and so we started a little slow early and then, you know, he kind of picked it up. But he'll tell you the game was super sloppy on, on, on from their perspective offensively. Coach Sam will tell you that for sure. And um, just, again, it's, it's encouraging knowing that we got to win with so many mistakes. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.